everyone. Welcome back to the YouTube channel. My name is Rachel. I'm an owner and craft educator here at Oak and Lamb. I know what you're thinking. The title of this video is a little bit scary, so we want to ease your fears a little bit. We love Cricut. We love this machine. And I mean, of course we love it. We purchased it. We have used it for a couple of weeks. It is a phenomenal machine. However, there are some possible downsides in your case, and there are some downsides in our case as well that we want to make you guys aware of and educate you. So that's what we're doing today is sharing with you a couple of key points on why you might not should put your money into this machine. So are you guys ready for some reasons not to buy the Cricut Venture? The first one it's heavy. This thing is 34 pounds. And you might be thinking, 34 pounds, that's not a ton. It actually is a good amount of weight for how big the machine is. So 34 pounds is pretty heavy, especially if you have a small craft room or you need to use your craft space for a bunch of different things. That means you need to be removing and putting other things on here like a printer or a heat press. And having to move this thing around often is a pain because of how heavy it is. Another reason why the Cricut Venture might not be for you is its size. I know we talked about weight, but you can have something super small that's super heavy, but this one is actually pretty large. It measures 34 and a half inches wide and almost eight inches in height. And that is not including any of the supports that can come out and support a very large mat. So all in all, as far as space this takes up, you're talking about a couple of feet that this can take up in your craft space. Uh, so you do have to do a little bit of research and measuring, honestly, probably before you dive in, if you have a super small craft area, to see if this is something that would be practical um, in the area that you have to work with. Um, now, as far as the size, it can do a lot. So we do understand why it needed to be this large because it does have a really exceptional cutting capacity and print the cut capacity. So we totally understand its size. But with this video being reasons not to buy the Venture, that is definitely one if you are concerned about size in your craft space or maybe you haven't thought about it, here is your little light bulb to think about it because it's a big machine. Not only is it heavy, but it is large. This next one might be a no brainer, but you might need someone to tell you again, to remind you again, it is a thousand dollars. Now, just in general, think about what you could do with a thousand dollars. You might could pay off a credit card bill, you might, could, I mean, there's a lot of things that you can do in life. Go on a good shopping spree. I mean, you know, lots of things you can do with $1,000. Are you sure you want to spend that money on a cutting machine? Just think about it. Again, I'm not trying to deter you too bad because one is sitting on our table right now and Becca uses every excuse she can to use it. She loves it. When I've used it, I have loved it. It is a great machine. We're just here, we're playing devil's advocate for one video. Okay, so $1,000 is a big investment for anybody. I don't care who you are, $1,000 is $1,000. So are you sure you wanna pay that on a machine like this? While we're on the road of talking about how expensive this is, let's talk about how expensive the accessories are. So this sucker here has pins and mats and good stuff like that. However, the cost on those is in my opinion, astronomical, it's crazy. One mat that is full size for this machine can cost around $30 for a single mat. Now, by the time you're watching this video, it could be a couple of months down the road and maybe the prices have decreased a little bit, but for right now, almost $30 for one mat is crazy. Now, I will put it in Cricut's defense. They did say that they have created these mats to be more durable and long lasting. Now, of course, we haven't had the machine long enough to be able to say if that rings true or not. So we'll have to keep testing, keep using it and keep you guys posted. Now, with them in the studio, we can see they do feel a little sturdier. They do seem like they might have a different type of tack on it that might last a little longer. So we will see. But the accessories are pretty expensive on it too. So you do have to uh, realize that as well. Also, there are not a lot of other companies other than Cricut, of course, that are creating products of the size that this can cut, that this can print and cut and things like that. 
So when you see the amazing printable capabilities of this, uh, you have to realize that there's not a lot of other brands that have printable products of that size and caliber as well. So these are things to think about when you think about expenses or how much something will cost down the road. It could be a little bit of a money pit, honestly, uh, because of its size and the limited amount of materials at the moment. Unfortunately, none of the Cricut adaptive tools that are in the Maker and the Maker 3 series machines fit the Cricut Venture at all. So the knife blade, the rotary blade, all of that good stuff is not compatible with this machine, which is very sad. This was Becca's biggest reservation of the machine, and she may or may not have shed a couple tears knowing that this Cricut Venture could not accommodate the rotary blade. She uses it a lot. Now, me personally, my favorite machine ever is the Cricut Explore 2. The Air 2 is amazing. I love it. And of course, it does not have the capability to use that rotary blade. But where Oak and Lame has some different types of crafters in it, Becca absolutely loves the rotary blade. And she was very sad to see it was not compatible with this machine. So if you happen to have a Maker and you or a Maker 3 and you're wanting to swap out those tools and use uh, that rotary blade or the knife blade to cut some really great stuff on your venture, you can't do it, which is super sad, super heartbreaking, and something you guys need to know because you might not want to get it since it can't have any of the adaptive tools. Now, I do hate saying this, but this machine is not very hobbyist friendly. Now, what I mean by that is because of, it is, because of its size and because of how expensive it is and how much space it takes up, it might not be the right fit for you if you craft as a hobby or to relieve stress on the weekends from a, you know, a hectic work week. Now, if you happen to be running a small business or you need this for commercial use, I think it is a great machine. It runs super fast, it's super accurate, uh, but it does take up a lot of room. It is very heavy. And like I mentioned, if you want to use the full capabilities of this machine, such as the print and cut, Regular printers aren't going to do it either, so you would eventually have to get a larger printer, a very large printer, to print with the capacity of this. You would have to find material that you could use with it, uh, which, again, that's not exactly practical for a hobbyist. So if you're using this, you know, a couple of times a week or a couple times a month to relieve stress and make some car decals, I don't think that I would recommend this machine to you. It's just so big and requires a lot of space, a lot of room on your craft table. Uh, I just don't know if it would be the machine for you if you're not doing large format projects super often. Uh, now again, if you have a small business or you use this to make you know, a bunch of t-shirts every week, this would be a wonderful, wonderful machine for you. Uh, so these are just some things that you need to think about. Of course, again, it's heavy, it's large, it is expensive, both the machine and the uh, accessories with it. Uh, the adaptive tools are not compatible in it at all, and it's not super hobbyist friendly. It's not, it's not as hobbyist friendly as, as one would think. So do keep that in mind. I, I know it's so easy to just go ahead and want the newest and the best and just to get the, the new machine, but you might get it and realize you don't use it a lot, and we would hate for you to spend that kind of money and do that. So definitely think on these things before you jump on in and get the Venture. Again, we love it. It's a wonderful machine. We're not trying to talk you out of it. I know the title is, um, it's a bit of a doozy. We love throwing titles at you like that, but uh, we have the venture here and we do love it. We just really want to get your wheels turning and make sure you know what you are investing in. I hope you all enjoyed these facts about the Cricut Venture. Uh, again, this is in no way trying to be like, if you bought it, you wasted your money or do not spend your money on this. This is just kind of like a warning video, like, hey, we know it's new and fun and, and it's a wonderful machine, but here are some downsides or possible downsides that you just need to be aware of. That's our job here. All we want to do is educate you guys so you can make the best, most informed decision for purchases like this. A thousand dollars is a lot of money, okay? So we completely understand that you want to gather all the information you can before putting your money in something like this. So we're here to educate. I hope the title of this video wasn't too crazy for you guys. We just are here to educate. We really love doing videos like this. So if you enjoyed this video, give this video a thumbs up. 
Uh, comment down below if you have any questions and it's completely free to go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel and ring that bell to get notified when more videos like this come out. The absolute best way you can support what we do is becoming a member of our flock today. We're running an incredible sale and you guys can get $35 off your annual membership with us using the code 350FF. Not only do you get myself, Becca, and Anna, the amazing owners here at Oak and Lamb, in your back pocket to help answer any questions you might have, but you also get over a thousand digital cut files with free commercial use licensing. We do have some great training videos on how to use the Cricut, how to use Design Space, and everything in between, as well as a member only Facebook group where everybody likes to come together whether you cricket, whether they sublimate, whether they just create home decor or sew. It's a great hub where all types of like-minded crafters can get together, inspire each other, ask questions, and have a great time. Uh, that is not all. We also have amazing content just for members like how-to videos, uh, flock podcasts, which are great, and so much more. It's a wonderful community if you're looking for one. Do not hesitate, join down below. But if a year is just too much for you to commit to right now, we get it. You can actually commit for only one month on a discount as well. Get your first month for $10 off using the code FUN, F-U-N at checkout. That makes your first month with us only $9.99. Definitely join today. We cannot wait to welcome you as a member of our flock and we'll see you another day for another video.